guys, I'm Claudia and this is My name's Andrew. And together we're Cloudry. <laughs> Tell us about what you do. Uh well, I'm a chef. That's it. Um, I'm a student, I do a bit of modelling, uh, but mainly I'm a photographer and that's why I study. Okay, so let's move on to the question. So we're gonna be talking about um interracial relationships. Mm. We forgot to say where we're from. Oh. <laughs> That's the whole point of this. I'm from Poland and she's from Tanzania. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you figured it out. Um, we've been together for nearly five years. Yeah, coming up to five years. First question, what are some of the stereotypical views that you've seen where you live regarding race and interracial, interracial relationships? Hmm. So we live in London. Have you experienced any stereotypical views? Not really. No. Because when it comes to relationship, they don't normally ask about things like that, to be honest with you. Mm. It's more about how long we've been together. It's only until I tell them that you're from Poland is when they start asking questions. Mm. Apart from that, it's not really that much of a big deal. I feel London's quite open about interracial relationships. like. There's a lot of interracial relationships, yeah, especially now. Um, and I, d I don't really like. I don't see it like that. I don't. I don't see a couple, and I'm like, oh, they're interra interra interracial. <laughs> I don't think there's stereotypical views. Mm, not really. Not, not that I've encountered anyway. Yeah. Nothing dramatic, really. I feel like I feel. I think people are a bit negative when it comes to like a white girl being for a black boy yeah i think in london there's like this stereotypical view of like all oh, these white girls with white boys black boys <laughs> white girls with black boys yeah. <laughs> have you got any strong opinions on the fact you're an interracial couple and if so if it's affected our relationship i mean me being polish um but also for you back home, I guess it's like it's something new. Back home, it was never new for me. No, but as in like, oh, someone um, that's Tanzanian bringing like a white girl, a white Polish girl home. Mm. Like, so honestly, it wasn't a big deal at all. So is there a lot of interracial relationships like in Tanzania? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, a lot. Well, see, in Poland, where I'm from, especially from this little village that I'm from, it's very uncommon. Well, there's no black people where I'm from. Yeah, far from the <laughs> um, There's no one apart from Polish people, so it's definitely something new for my family. Mm. Um, so they do have a lot of questions. Whenever I see them, they they're always asking like sort of like about your culture, like how you guys celebrate things. Mm. Um, like even when we went to we've been to like weddings, mm. they always ask, oh like how do they celebrate it there? And like they're open to learn about it. Um, yeah, it's never been anything negative really. It's it's just something new and something they have to come to grips with. Mm. And. Um, yeah, but it was weird coming home, I guess. Yeah. Like I, I didn't, I didn't really see. Well, like I didn't take no notice of it. Yeah, for you no, but for me, yeah. it, it, it was a lot of eyes and a lot of, like you know, looking and just a quick glance and yeah. you see when you can tell someone's looking at you. Mm -hmm. It's basically like that. I think with my family, if you were to speak Polish, no one would. I think just the language barrier, that was it, really. Mm. Yeah, language barrier was more of the actual factor. Have you integrated each other's culture into the relationship? Are you both open to learning about each other's culture? And is this important? Well, <clears throat> we have in integrated in culture because we've been to weddings, both parts, like both sides. Mm. So that's one way of integrating. And culture-wise, yeah, I've, I think I know more about Polish culture than I do about my own culture. Because I'm more willing to, yeah, because I ask you more questions where <coughs> at home, they don't really teach you, it's more like you learn through action. 
Mm. So when I went back to Tanzania the first time, I was learning for action, not like they actually sat down and sat down and talked to you and spoke to you and everything. Mm. But yeah, we have integrated. Yeah. And I think we're we're both very open about learning each other's culture. Yeah. Like we're always asking each other things and um yeah, like I'm like really interested. Mm. I think you are like I think it's so sweet whenever you ask me stuff and like you even like learn some Polish words mm. and it's just like oh but um yeah it's definitely important to be open to learn each other's culture otherwise it's not it's not gonna work. What do you love about being in an interracial relationship? What's not to love? Well see the, the term interracial I don't really see it as a big fact so see when people say oh how do you like being with a white girl or da 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 I don't see it as I just see it as how how's it like being with another person you love, not yeah. not another person that's a different colour to you. That doesn't really affect me that much, to be honest with you. To be honest, I never really thought of us as an interracial couple. Until other people started saying it. And until we sort of like we're answering these questions now. Mm. Cause honestly, I only just see you for you. Yeah. It's not like, oh yeah, my boyfriend's black, ha! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's not like I go around bringing on my girlfriend's wife, my girlfriend's wife. Yeah, no, no like, it's... that's never something that comes out of my mouth. I'm just like, yeah, it's my boyfriend. And then when people see pictures, they're like, oh, he's black! <laughs> Same reaction with me, oh, yeah. your girlfriend's white. And then when, when I say the Polish, they're like, oh, your girlfriend's Polish, yeah. oh. I'm like, yeah, yeah so? I think that their more stereotypical views are more offensive to us. Because they always think negative about um, interracial relationships and how it affects us. But to me, it hasn't affected me in no way. Yeah, I know. I think when you're in the relationship, it's not really a factor. Mm. What's one thing you love about each other's culture? And what's one thing you'd like to know more about? The thing that I love is the food. Of course. <laughs> food and the drinks. And the vodka. And the vodka. <laughs> Well, I used to like vodka. And what I love about your culture, you've definitely taught me more about sort of cherishing your family. Mm. Like that's one thing. And like since since meeting you, like I've gotten with my family a lot better. Mm. And um, yeah, just my relationship like with my parents has become a lot better. Mm. Um, so I, that's definitely something that's come from your culture. Just mm. like seeing seeing how your parents are like with your sisters and everything yeah. do you have any advice for interracial couples don't let other people determine what you what the outcome is of the relationship so in a sense like don't let other people's hateness and hatred yeah. towards you affect the way you love each other exactly. and don't let them say that oh all black guys are cheaters or you know, etc. Or even if you your partner's opposite sex, don't let I mean the, the opposite race. <laughs> don't don't let other people determine your relationship basically. Oh, and social media. Don't let social media determine your relationship as well because nowadays relationships are a big factor through social media. You mm. can make and break them. Don't let that determine how you and your partner love each other basically. So don't let the negativity get to you. Even though I think it's it's becoming something less and less, like, it's not something, it's not a big deal anymore. Mm. So I think it's not something to worry about, really. No. I mean, there's nothing to worry about. It's just another person. No. You do get them odd racists, like, proper, proper racists, like, from both sides. Yeah. That when you talk to them and you say that, oh, relationship, they start asking negative questions about parents and about other things like that, but... It's not really needed. Once you're in love, mm. you're in love. There's, there's no other factor. I think it's it's only the older generation, I think, that has this sort of negative view on it, maybe. Mm. But I think that's just down to not being... Naivety as well, to be honest with you. Yeah, just be naive. and just, they, like, they don't understand that it's okay to do what you want, I guess. Mm. Like, love who you want. Yeah, they're just stuck in the old man's service. Yeah. Thank you for watching, and I hope this has been helpful to anyone out there. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye!